storefront glazing options. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we will give you a broad overview of storefront glazing options, covering everything from glazing gaskets, sunshades, and entrances to shear block, screw spline, and stick fabrication methods. Storefront systems have an air barrier, thermal barrier, and a dry line. We talked about the thermal barrier, we talked about the dry line. Now let's look at the air barrier. The most critical component in the air barrier is the gaskets. Here's a standard gasket for a storefront system. The uh, darted edge to the right, that sticks into a raceway in the aluminum extrusions and it holds it in there tight. The angled piece, the hump to the left, is what goes between the glass and the aluminum frame. And that puts pressure between the glass and the frame. You can see it's wedge shaped. So as it's pushed in, it creates compression between the glass and the frame, and that forms your primary air barrier. So this is a standard size. There's also a heavyweight gasket. Now this is adding a 16th of an inch to the gasket. And then there's a light gasket, which takes a 16th off. So that allows you a little bit of a range of glass to use in the storefront system. You can install from a 7 8 of an inch up to a 1 and an eighth inch into a glass unit into a storefront system by changing the gaskets that you use. I mentioned that storefront systems can be glazed from either the exterior or the interior. You can also vary the plane of the glass within a storefront system. Here you see a very typical center glaze system. It's a four and a half inch deep frame section, and this insulated glass unit is centered in that four and a half inch system. You have the option of doing a front set or a back set also. So this is taking the glass all the way forward, taking it all the way back. You just move the thermal line of the system to follow the plane of the glass. And then if you wish, you can vary that across an elevation. So you can mix those and have your glass move from front set to back set to center set or back and forth. So there's some flexibility there if you want to create a shadow line on an elevation, use a back set member. If you want a nice clean flush look, take the glass all the way forward. So you have those options. Let's look at some other options that you have with storefront systems. Use of integrated vents in storefront is really gaining popularity. There's a desire to use more natural ventilation in commercial construction. So we're seeing more of an increased interest in adding vents to storefront elevations. Here's a nice example of concealed sideline windows set into a storefront system. You can see all the frame is to the interior. There's no buildup of aluminum around the operable vent to the outside, giving it a nice clean flush look on the exterior. So looking at an elevation, you can't see where the operable units are because all the frames to the interior. Glass is still in the same plane between the fixed lights and the operable lights, making a nice smooth elevation. Other options that are very popular on storefront systems are sunshades. Sunshades started as an option on curtain wall systems as they grew in popularity and people began to realize the benefits of shading their glazed area. They started demanding store sunshades be applied to storefronts. So now that is a common option on a storefront system. Here you can see the red shows the anchor supporting the sunshade. The wall section of a storefront system is not thick enough or strong enough to support the end reaction of a sunshade by itself. So in most cases, you're going to see an anchor like this, which is a steel sleeve, which is attached to the surround condition above the storefront elevation. It runs down the intermediate vertical, so the sunshade is attached back to the steel within the vertical, not to the aluminum frame itself. Entrances or a common option on a storefront system. So here you can see differences between front set, center set, and back set. With a center set frame, you have an extruded glass stop in your door jam. When you go to front set or back set, you're going to have an applied door stop on it. But entrances are available either configuration. Corner options, you have a range of corner options. Here you can see a standard four and a half by four and a half corner post. This can be used for 90 degree inside corners, outside corners, three-way corners, or 180 degree if you want to create just a nice bold vertical member and add a four and a half inch sightline to a typically two inch sightline system. Here are options for 135 degree corners, inside and outside, 135 degree. The extrusions, the two on the far right are adjustable pivot mullions for creating splayed elevations. These can be adjusted up to five degrees each direction. And the detail on the left 
shows a custom angle. So if you've got a custom angle, you're going to use the two extrusions here with bright metal in between them and bend the bright metal to form the angle that you need for each corner. One last option I'd like to share with you that's available with storefront systems is what's called an SSG vertical. SSG stands for structural silicone glazing. You can see in this image that there's no metal projecting from the, the frame behind the glass between them to mechanically adhere the glass back to the frames. We're relying on structural silicone. You notice that each light of glass has structural silicone between it and the frame behind it. So the structural silicone is adhering the glass back to the frame instead of using a mechanical attachment. In the schematic here, you can see along the horizontal elements, meaning the head, the intermediate horizontal, and the sill, those are mechanically attached. You've got covers that snap over the glass and, it, and hold it back to the metal, where the vertical element Again, you don't see any metal projecting between the lights of glass, just the weather seal on the outside. And this gives you a nice, smooth, flush look on the exterior. If you look at the photograph here and follow along to the left, you'll see that the vertical elements don't sort of disappear and fade away since there's just the weather seal on the exterior. The horizontal line continues, but the vertical elements begin to fade away because it's just that very smooth, flush look on the outside. Fabrication method. Let's now talk about how storefront systems are fabricated because there's a couple of different methods and I want to, you to understand what they are. The three major methods of fabricating storefront are shear block, screw spline, and stick. So let's take a look at what each one of those is. Shear block fabric fabrication, we're going to start off with a tubular vertical member and then we're going to attach shear blocks to the sides of the tubular members. And then our horizontal is going to slide over those shear blocks and the fastener is going to secure the horizontal to the shear block. So let me show you what that looks like here. Here's our vertical member. We're attaching our shear block, bring the horizontal over it and now attach the horizontal to the shear block. So that's shear block construction. Probably the most common method of fabricating storefront is what we call screw spline. Now with screw spline, you're going to start off with a two piece split vertical member. So with being a two-piece, we're going to be able to run screws through the inside of the vertical member into screw splines in the horizontal members. Then as you tighten those up, it draws the horizontal into the vertical. This is nice because your subcontractor can build ladders or modules that consist of one of each half of the verticals on each side of it, and then those can be interlocked together at the job site. So let me show you what that looks like. Here's our vertical member and we're going to run fasteners from inside the vertical through into the horizontal and tighten those up. And then at the job site, we built modules. We're going to snap the two components together and lock those together. The last method is called stick. Stick is very popular if you have a long ribbon elevation because with a stick system, your head and sill run through and your head and sill are considered receptors. So they go in first and then your verticals free float inside it and they're held in place by snapping in the glass stops. So your head and sill filler, when they snap in, that's what's securing the vertical in place. So let me show you that. We're going to start by running our sill receptor, set the vertical into it, then snap in the filler. And that's what secures the vertical in place. So it works very well for long ribbon elevation. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.